Okay, so for assignment three, we have to create this as a revolved part. What you want to focus on is these two cross sections here. In SolidWorks, I'm going to tell that I want to make a revolved base. And I'll just start in the front plane. First thing I'm going to do is sketch two center lines. This center line I'll revolve the part around. And this center line, I'm just going to make the middle of this feature. So what do I see here? Well, let's activate line. I see a line. And I'm going to draw this as a rectangle. Like this. So that's going to become this shape here. I'll get it fully defined in a minute. I'm going to turn off the relationship visibility. I think it'll just be a little clearer to see. And what I'm going to do, whoops, so I'm going to select this line, hold control, select this line, my center line, and I'm going to tell it it's symmetric. I'm going to do the same thing here. These two lines are symmetric about the center line. Now I'll dimension this, and then I'll come back and I'll draw this part next. So I'll activate dimension. And this hole here, right? so that's going to be this hole here. So where did we find that dimension? Well, it's 3 eighths. So I'm going to make that hole 0.375. Right? And then we have this one inch dimension. So I'm going to grab this line here. It's one inch. And then this is inch and a half. I'm not going to worry about that shape. Right, it's going to fix itself if it goes. I'm going to push escape. So I've got my diameters. And the other obvious thing here is get out of dimension mode. This line and this line are collinear. Right. So I'm going to finish this shape off. Well, I need this distance here. Well, that's three quarters. So I'll go back into dimension. This is going to be 0.75. And then I need this shape here, and that's the half inch. So this is 0.5, and then I have this basic shape. I can add the fillets now, or I can add them later. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to zoom out a bit, leave dimension mode, and for this, I want to draw two three-point arcs. So I'm going to start three-point arc. This one will do, and just somewhere over here, I'll click, come across, draw my first three-point arc. They're going to share a center, so I'll click on the center again, and this time, oh, and there we go, I'll draw this three-point arc. Now these points here will all be horizontal, and I'll finish the shape off with these two lines. And again, now I can go into Smart Dimension. This is 7 16 radius, this radius here is 3 eighths. And then what else do I know? Well, I need to see, oh, look at here. Here's inch and three quarters. And that's to this hole, which is right on this edge. So in other words, from here to here, that diameter is one and three quarters times two. So 1.75 times two. So I'm in diameter mode. And then what else do I know? Well, it's 7 16 from the center. So from here to here is 7 16 Push escape twice to get out of dimension mode. My sketch is fully defined. And again, I can add these 1 16 radius now or later. If I add them now, that's fine. I'll set this up to 1 16 there's going to be one here, one here, here, here. You can add it here and here. Whoops. If it won't go here now, that's fine. Again, I can always do it later. Try one more time. There I go. I've got my fillets. Should be good. I'm going to exit the sketch because I have two center lines. It won't know which one to revolve around. So up here, I'm going to tell it revolve around this center line. And there's the beginning 
shape. So next, I'll add the spokes. <laughs> 